everyone, my name is Astha and you are watching Delhi Knowledge Track. Today is our fifth class in our series of classes for International English Olympiad for class 4th. हम जो preparation कर रहे हैं, इसमें हम topic wise हर topic को लेके समझते हैं, उसके examples पढ़ते हैं and eventually उसके sample questions solve करते हैं. तो आज भी हम nouns के लिए पहले concept समझेंगे, फिर जो हम sample questions solve करेंगे, those are taken as reference from the book of MTG publications. This is just one of the many books available in the market for IEO preparation. इसमें से आप कोई भी ले सकते हैं अपनी preparation, अपनी convenience के हिसाब से. This is just a reference book which I have chosen. So, let's start today's video. So our mission for today is nouns. अब हम mission इसलिए बोलते हैं क्योंकि हम जब ये अपना topic खतम कर लेंगे आज का आज का जब video आप देख लेंगे तो you will be able to understand what nouns are, what are the various types of nouns. आप identify कर पाएंगे कि ये अगर जो word है if this is a noun then what kind of a noun this is. And up different types ke up examples they paenge. Okay. And in the end, IEO ke question solve kar paenge. So it will serve all the purposes. Hamara mission accomplish ho jayega. Alright. So let's start. So now our question is, the first and foremost question that we ask ourselves is, what are nouns? हमें किसी भी टॉपिक को समझने के लिए पहले ये अंडरस्टैंड करना पड़ता है कि उस टाइटल का एक्जैक्टली exactly मतलब क्या है पहले हम इसका मीनिंग करेंगे और मीनिंग को बेटर अंडरस्टैंड करने के लिए उसके एग्जाम्पल से समझेंगे और फिर हमें एकदम कंप्लीट क्लैरिटी आ जाएगी जब हम इसके क्विज को अटैम्प्ट कर देंगे और राइट So here we go, noun is nothing but any person, place, thing or animal. Alright, all these things, all of them are nouns. Person, jaise you and me, jaise um, your brother, your mother, your teacher, all the persons, they are nouns place for example uh, delhi india australia or mumbai all these places are nouns then things things could be say this laptop things could be uh, a pen Things could be a charger, things could be uh, some food, for example, apple. All these things are also nouns. Alright? Then animals. Animals, so we know dogs, cats, giraffe, and say snake, and squirrels. All these birds and animals, all of them are nouns as well. So noun ki basic meaning we have to know which is any, this means any person, any place, any thing or an animal, any animal. So a noun refers to any person, place, thing or animal. Alright. Well, now that we have understood what exactly nouns are, okay, noun is person, place, animal, thing. So, now we will do what are the types of nouns. Nouns have various types hote hain and we will study each of them with their certain examples and then we will apply them to the questions. So, what are the various types? of nouns.
So here you see a picture. All right. We will start by understanding through a picture. Now in the picture, what all do you see? Take a minute, think about it and uh, write it in your notebook that what all do you see? What all general things do you see? Here, now let me put it for you. Here you we see birds, right? Here is a bird, here is a bird, here is a bird, here is an owl. All of them are birds. Next up we also see trees, right? Uh, this tree, this one, this one, this one, these are the trees with different leaves. This one has different leaves, this one has different leaves, different trees. We see food. Now this girl out here probably seems to be on a picnic, right? So she's got a lot of food with her. Some sort of cake and juice, so all this is food. Then children, of course. There are so many kids over here. This guy, this girl, this pair is probably coming from school because they are carrying their bags. So children, plants. You see these herbs and uh, grass and shrubs over here and some sort of fruit and next animals animals of course we see here 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 right next park now this overall scenery this complete Scenery is of a park. So what all do we see? What are common things, general things do we see? We see a few birds. So we see food items. We see trees. We see children. We see animals. We all see plants. And overall this is a picture of a park. Now what we will do is, we will understand the specific things here. Okay. Now you will understand later why we are doing this exercise. But just right now, just go with the flow. You see, suppose, let me give you first an example. This park. Now, there can be a lot of parks. There are a lot of parks in the world, in fact. For example, where I live, we have uh, a few parks in our colony as well. But I live in block 3. Alright, and in block 3, there is this one park. So, I have named this park as the block 3 park. Which means I have specified that this is not just any park, but this is my block 3 park. Alright. So I am saying that this is the image of my block 3 park. Although it is not possible to you know have deer and fox in the, my neighborhood park. But just for understanding I am saying that this is the block 3 park. Okay. Now there is this dog. So I have named this dog. But its name must be Bruno. And I have also named this boy and said that his name is Ayush. I also named this girl as Astha. Then I have left this, bl this blank for you so that you can fill over his name or her name yourself. Now you see this is the first image that we did. Here we said all the general things. For example, trees, birds, food, plants, animals, children, and park. Like we did not specify which park it was. We just said a park. It is any park. It is just another park. Children. We did not name these children. We did not say this is Ayush and this is Asta and this is 
some x y z person and we didn't say this is bruno okay we just generalized and now this is the first category of nouns which is the common nouns now common nouns you see we are talking about very general things like children they can be a number of children there are so many children in the world we are not specifying which child we are not specifying any name we are just saying children we are not specifying this particular park we are just saying park and it could be any park right it could be my block one park it could be another central park or any other park these are common nouns let's move on to its meaning so here the meaning says a common noun is used to name general general things places ideas events or people now if you remember all these things are what all these things are nouns humne nouns ki meaning mein padha tha that all these things are nouns to common noun hame kya batata hai common noun is a type of noun jo hame kya batata hai general nouns we can say the general nouns इसके एग्जाम्पल्स आप आगे समझेंगे तो ज्यादा क्लियर होगा बट बेसिक एग्जाम्पल के लिए जैसे हमने पहले करा इफ आई से पार्क विच मीन्स इट कुड बी एनी पार्क राइट एनी पार्क तो मैंने एक कॉमन बोल दिया कि पार्क अब पार्क में दे कुड बी ब्लॉक थ्री पार्क ब्लॉक वन पार्क ब्लॉक फाइव पार्क सेंट्रल पार्क एनी अदर पार्क राइट बट आई सेट पार्क इसमें से कोई भी पार्क हो सकता है तो मैंने बस जनरल थे जनरल प्लेस बोल दिया विच इज पार्क राइट वैसे ही जनरल पीपल का आई जस्ट सेड आई जस्ट सेड चिल्ड्रन राइट आई हैव गुड चिल्ड्रन इन माय क्लास बट आई एम नॉट नेमिंग दैट आई हैव दिस पर्सन और आई हैव दिस पर्सन दिस किड और दैट किड आई एम जस्ट नेमिंग इट जनरल so this also becomes a common noun all right so say proper nouns exactly hai kya proper noun names a specific person yahan pe important hai specific jaise humne bola tha boys aur boys kya the common noun the और उसमें हमने स्पेसिफाई क्या कर दिया हमने स्पेसिफाई कर दिया आयुष के लिए आयुष क्या है एक स्पेसिफिक पर्सन है राइट फिर प्लेसेस के लिए प्लेसेस के लिए हमने फर्स्ट इमेज में बोला था पार्क पर हमने सेकंड इमेज में क्या बोला कि ये ब्लॉक थ्री का पार्क है अब ब्लॉक थ्री में तो एक ही पार्क है ना तो उसको हमने स्पेसिफाई कर दिया कोई स्पेसिफिक प्लेस हो गई वो जैसे एक और एग्जाम्पल सपोज हम बोले सिटी That I am uh, planning to go to a city. तो city क्या था आपका common noun. पर अगर हम specify कर दें बोले कि I am going to Delhi, तो वो होगा हमारा proper noun. Think. और जैसे person के लिए हमने करा place के लिए करा और think के लिए करा एक specific ये याद रखना है हमें जो हम properly एक specifically बता रहे हैं तो वो हो गया proper noun. अब ये चीज और ध्यान में रखनी है कि एक प्रॉपर नाउन ऑलवेज बिगिन विद कैपिटल लेटर अब जैसे व्हेन यू लर्न टू राइट योर नेम सबसे पहले आपको सिखाया गया ना कि योर फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ योर नेम शुड बी कैपिटल ऑफ योर राइटिंग आस्था देन आस्था का ए इज सपोज टू बी कैपिटल सपोज यूर राइटिंग इंडिया तो इंडिया का आई हैज टू बी कैपिटल सपोज यू राइटिंग डेली तो दिल्ली का जी हैज टू बी कैपिटल राइट तो ऐसे इट हैज टू ऑलवेज बिगिन विद कैपिटल लेटर तो ये हमारे लिए एक तरीके का एक हिंट भी हो जाता है जब हमें फिगर आउट करना होता है कि क्या कॉमन नाउन है और क्या प्रॉपर नाउन है तो हमारे लिए गेस्ट वर्क भी हो जाता है राइट सो लेट्स 
तो हमने दो ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज पढ़ ली हैं वन इज कॉमन नाउ एंड वन इज प्रॉपर नाउन तो हम क्विकली रिवाइज कर लेते हैं कॉमन नाउन क्या हुए कॉमन नाउन जो किसी भी कॉमन चीज को बता रहे हैं जैसे पार्क जैसे सिटीज जैसे कंट्रीज जैसे चिल्ड्रन जैसे एनिमल्स और प्रॉपर नाउन क्या हुआ प्रॉपर नाउन हुआ किसी का हम जैसे नेम बताया हम जैसे हमने किया था आज था सपोज वी राइट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी सो दैट इज अ प्रॉपर नाउन सपोज यू राइट द नेम ऑफ योर टीचर देन दैट इज अ प्रॉपर नाउन योर ओन नेम इज अ प्रॉपर नाउन Your pet's name is a proper noun. The city that you specifically live in. So say I live in Delhi, so I write Delhi. Delhi is a proper noun. And we all live in India, so India is a proper noun. Countries बोलते तो countries क्या होता? Countries होता common noun. But India, India is a proper noun. I hope you have understood. अगर आपको नहीं समझ आया, you should rewind and watch this again. You will get a better hint. हम आगे अभी एग्जाम्पल्स करेंगे तो मे बी आपको और क्लियर हो जाएगा राइट ऑल राइट सो अब हम एग्जाम्पल्स पढ़ेंगे फॉर कॉमन नाउन्स एंड प्रॉपर नाउन्स एग्जाम्पल्स पढ़ेंगे धीरे धीरे तो इट विल बी क्लियर टू यू सो लेट स्टार्ट जिससे यू लुक एट दिस पिक्चर फर्स्ट एंड यू सी वॉट यू सी यू सी फ्रूट्स एंड फ्रूट्स क्या है एक जनरल चीज है कॉमन नाउन की डेफिनेशन है ये जनरल चीजें हैं तो कॉमन चीज को प्रेजेंट कर रहा है तो फ्रूट्स क्या हो गए कॉमन नाउन हो गए पर इसमें से सपोज वी हैव टू चूज वन फ्रूट सपोज यू हैव टू चूज योर ओन फेवरेट फ्रूट आई चोज वॉटरमेलन तो वॉटरमेलन क्या है एक स्पेसिफिक चीज है राइट मैंने एक स्पेसिफिक फ्रूट चूज कर लिया तो उसी अगर हमने स्पेसिफिकली चूज कर लिया तो उसे हम बोलेंगे प्रॉपर नाउन ओके सो नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल सो हियर वी सी दिस इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ बॉयज ओके एंड नेक्स्ट हियर वी सी दिस अ सिंगल बॉय Now this is a group of boys, and I want to ask you, who's your best friend? And you name somebody. For example, let's see. Now these boys, these boys would be a common noun. Why? Because as we discussed, common nouns they talk about general, general people, general things, general. जनरल टर्म्स में जो बात होती है सो बॉयज दे कुड बी एंड वेन वी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन स्पेसिफिक वन आउट ऑफ दीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूज योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड यूज से अली सो अली वुड बी अ प्रॉपर नाउ क्योंकि हम एक स्पेसिफिकली एक बॉय की बात कर रहे हैं ओके दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉय वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट इज अ प्रॉपर नाउ ऑल राइट Now these are. This is what this is a bundle of book, books, a lot of books. But suppose this one, this one is uh, we can say a story book. So this are a number of books. ये general term में हमने बोला कि books हैं कोई भी book हो सकती है, right? कोई भी books हो सकती हैं इनमें. तो ये हो गया हमारा common noun. but either when we are talking about one specific book for example a story book so this becomes a proper noun all right so here the next example we have this map of india and we have this map of delhi so you see in this picture we can say there are states we can say there are cities there are union territories right so all these they become common now we can simply say there are different places in here so because we are talking about something that is general in nature it becomes a common now and then 
when we talk specifically about delhi so that becomes a proper noun proper nouns are those which talk about some specific noun some specific uh, animal place thing or animal place uh, thing all right so next example okay so here in we have one picture and the next picture now the first picture is basically a bundle of various kinds of biscuits so when you say give me a biscuit you don't really specify which kind of biscuit so this one becomes a common noun we talk in general terms but if you specify that my favorite biscuit is oreo and give me the oreo biscuit then this becomes a proper noun all right now next okay so here you see here is a group of cars there are a number of cars when we just say cars or car it is a common noun because we don't know which car you're talking about we just talking in terms of a general thing that is a car but when we talk specifically about bugatti we say it be, it is a proper noun because we are talking about one particular car one specific particular car and not in general terms this is a proper noun so here we get the first image <clears throat> and the second image now the first one we see they are this is a group and there is a variety of shoes over here what shoes and these are common nouns why because they refer to general things right there are various kinds of shoes there are heels and there are flats and there are you know these sport shoes and there are boots and these are loafers and there are different kinds of shoes so we just refer to them as shoes this becomes a common noun However, when we talk about it specifically, जब हम सिर्फ एक की बात कर रहे हैं there is just one specific kind of shoes that we are talking about. That becomes the sport shoes. And now that is a proper noun. Why? Because we are talking about something specifically. All right. now with this we finish off with the examples of the common nouns common nouns we use another pen of common nouns and proper nouns common nouns are what when they talk when we talk about something that is general general place animal thing person just a children park animals birds proper noun we have uh, seen so many examples when we talking about something specifically that becomes a proper noun all right now we will move on to the next category of nouns so now you see now we will uh, talk about uh, different kinds of uh, another category of nouns and here what we will figure out is some kind of emotions and bonds right so let me give you an example first for example you see friendship over here like um, you know both of these are coming from school together so you see friendship and then these these kids who are playing together you see friendship over here right so like this you uh, write down a few of the example a few of the bonds or the feelings that you can figure out from this picture and i will give you a few examples as well now we see 
love between friends and love between the animals as well here maybe this is her pet and you see love over here mm, adventure now you see adventure you can sense adventure in the sense like you see this uh, girl this girl this girl i think a boy i mean mm, this one is trying to you know see through uh and uh, look at the sky and they're trying to you know find out new new things or maybe just explore so we see a sense of adventure here and you also see happiness now all these kids all of them are smiling and they are happily playing and uh, having a picnic and maybe walking right and we also see amazement here now amazement like uh, you know he or she i think he's pointing out something and he's amazed by the beauty of it or uh, with his curiosity this boy and you see education in the sense that both of them are coming back from school or maybe uh, it yeah it seems like an evening picture so both of them are coming from school and after having their dose of education for the day then all of them are kids so we can say we see their childhood and maybe he is thinking about something and he is having an idea now if you notice in all these things in all these words that we mentioned what was common what com what was common was they have no physical existence um you see there was for example uh, in the beginning when we saw about common nouns and proper nouns we could see animals we could uh, see the birds and we could see the park but here we cannot really we, we could not we could not really see the friendship we could only assume these are these are various ideas emotions concepts which we could not see right now friendship does not have a physical form we can only we could only sense it we could only assume and we could only guess right these are feelings they are they are uh, they cannot be seen or touched or heard or smell smelled or tasted all right they have no physical existence so all these kinds of um all these nouns they are referred to as the abstract nouns this is the third category of nouns that we are doing and these are abstract nouns they are the ones which have no physical existence these are ideas or emotions or concepts all right and we cannot we cannot see them or touch them or hear them smell them or taste them okay so this is this is about abstract nouns the third category of nouns that we are doing the examples we just saw were like uh, friendship and childhood and uh, education and love and curiosity and amazement and idea you know all of these they are abstract nouns now we have a few examples of abstract nouns here what you have to notice here is that all of the not none of them can be seen or touched or heard or smelled all these have no physical existence like ability adoration advantage adventure amazement anger now you may see we can sense when somebody is angry right when uh, their face shows like there's this uh, like this there's this emoji over here as well but anger is something that has no physical existence 
you cannot touch anger you cannot taste anger you cannot smell anger right so that's why all of these are abstract nouns they have no physical existence annoyance anxiety awareness about something beauty and compassion and confidence confusion curiosity death dedication defeat delay dishonesty divorce friendship the example that we saw generation goal gossip growth happiness now when somebody asks you how happy you are you cannot really measure it and say uh, there is no unit for measurement there is no unit for you know your uh, growth your uh, emotional growth um and uh, there is no measurement for somebody's hate you can you can just sense it and just say that uh, you know i am very happy or i am i am i'm very scared and i have a lot of hope for example or um i'm horrified and similarly for life it has no physical existence cannot be smelled or touched loneliness loss love luck luxury right here we are not talking about the luxurious things mind you you have to be very careful here when we start talking about luxurious things for example if we talk about a mansion or a bungalow now that uh, becomes another category of nouns that is not an abstract noun because that is something that can be touched it can be seen now if you're talking about a big house or you're talking about an expensive car that car can be touched it can be seen it can be felt and it can be heard as well but luxury is something that you feel luxury is a form of life and uh, that you that you uh, that you live all right similarly for maturity mercy mercy means forgiving someone giving them mercy movement needing something need right rumor sacrifice satisfaction um self control service shock silliness skill and sleep so let's move on i have a few more examples as well these are pretty easy you know you should pause the video and uh, have a look at them for yourselves and give a read i'll just quickly read them for you belief belief bravery brilliance calm care chaos charity childhood we took this example remember clarity coldness comfort dream dreams have no physical existence education elegance envy evil failure faith fascination fear fiction freedom hurt idea we took this example infancy infancy is uh, is the infant stage when uh, you are very young only a few months or a few years old then that's that's infancy then inflation inflation refers to uh, the rising prices suppose um, suppose there's a particular there's a particular car which was which was which was uh, for 10 lakhs last year and now this year it is for say it is for say 12 lakhs so now that car has inflated rising prices then intelligence irritation joy justice kindness liberty lie opinion 
opportunity, pain, patience, peace, pleasure, power, pride, relief, riches, sorrow, success, surprise, talent, trend, trust, victory, weakness, wealth, wisdom, worry. So let's move on. So now, now we have done three categories of nouns. Okay. First was the proper nouns. Second was the common nouns. Now and the third was the abstract nouns. Now we are moving on to the fourth category of nouns, which is collective nouns. Now collective, as its name suggests, what is in the name? Collective. Collective can be uh, can be a synonym of collection. You know, collection collection means group. So the group of people, animal or things that is a collective noun. All right. We will give you examples and then we will uh, understand it better. Right now, what you have to understand is a group of people, animal or things that is referred to as collective nouns. All right. So how do we form them? How do we form collective nouns? This is the formation. Collective noun plus of plus the plural noun. Whatever noun we have, uski plural form yahan par aayegi and uska jo collective noun hoga, which we will study now. Collective noun plus of plus plural noun. You should write down this formation and we will see this in the upcoming slides. Okay, here collective nouns for collective nouns of people we are talking about first. For example, if we have um, certain Morris dancers, we say a side. What is the collective noun here? Side, a side of Morris dancers. If we have pipers, we say a skirl of pipers, right? There are certain candidates for certain job or something, uh, some opportunity. So we say, we don't say a group of candidates. Rather, a group of candidates is called a slate, a slate of candidates. Models, we say a slouch of models. A sodom of shepherds. Squeal of nieces. Staff of employees. Staff of servants as well. Stock of foresters. Superfluity of nuns. Tabernacle of bakers. Tantrum of decorators. Team of athletes. And a team of players. A tribe of Indians. A troop of acrobats. A troop of performers. Females can be say a troop of females and a troop of males. All right. This one was for people. Now next. Like for sea animals here, you see, we say a bind of salmon, a company of angelfish, a family of sardines, a fleet of bass, a float of tuna, tuna fish, a flotilla of swordfish, a glint of goldfish, a herd of seahorses, a neck. We have sea animals here as well. A party of rainbow fish. A school of cod. A shiver of sharks. A shoal of fish. A troop of shrimp. A swarm of dragon net fish. A squad of skid. A shoal of mackerel. Now you don't have to worry. You don't have to remember all these by heart. Uh, once you will see the questions, which we end with quiz, when you will the questions, understand so there will be only a few which you will remember. In fact, 
आपको याद रखने की भी जरूरत नहीं है यहाँ पे रट्टे नहीं मारने होंगे यू डोंट हैव टू रोट लर्न ऑल दिस आप वंस यू सॉल्व अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू कंटिन्यू रीडिंग एंड बींग इन्वॉल्व इन द लैंग्वेज तो जो जो थोड़े से कॉमन है ना ये द कॉमन कलेक्टिव नाउन्स वो आपको एनी वे याद ही रहेंगे सो दीज आर जस्ट फॉर योर रेफरेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम्स एंड यू डोंट सो दीज आर जस्ट फॉर योर रेफरेंस आप इससे अपनी वो कैबलरी बढ़ा सकते हैं आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एग्जाम्पल्स सो नाउ अ फ्यू मोर ये वी हैव फॉर बर्ड्स ऑल राइट वी विल डू ओनली अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट वंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू सी अ ब्रूड ऑफ चिकन्स एंड फॉर दैन ऑल्सो वी से द सेम अ ब्रूड ऑफ हैंस एंड फॉर पेंगुइंस वी कॉल इट अ कॉलोनी and for vultures again we call it a colony for parrots we call it a company now you see humne formation kaise kari thi formation we said the collective noun plus of plus the plural form right so here is the plural form for example if you see of eagles eagle ki plural form is eagles and convocation is the common noun so common noun plus of plus the plural form so convocation of eagles all right here again we have a few more collective nouns for birds uh, a flight of birds is the most common you should remember this one and you remember for crows also murder of crows and this one a host of sparrows and a stand of flamingos and a pride of ostriches as well and you see this is quite funny for a group of owls we call it a parliament a parliament of owls now for amphibians reptiles and vertebrates insects now for the collective nouns there is no limit in fact for nouns only there is no limit for giving you examples uh, after all what we did what are nouns nouns are a noun refers to any person place animal or thing right now there are so many people there are so many places there are so many animals and there are so many things ab hum sare examples nahi kar sakte hain right so we'm just giving you a few of them just for your reference for example here frogs one an army of frogs for dinosaurs we call it a herd all right the snakes we call it a den for crocodiles we call it a bass is the formation you remember the collective noun plus of plus the plural form of the noun now next here are a few more you see a bale of turtles mm a culture of bacteria army of caterpillars flight of butterflies colony of ants swarm of bees and a clutter of spiders now for mammals these are few interesting ones for example a colony of rabbits colony of rats colony of seals then for pigs we call it a sounder a sounder of pigs for cows it's a flink for deer it's a herd and for donkeys as well and for bisons as well it's a herd and for lambs it's a fall for race horses it's a field a field of race horses these are a few more we have elephants we have heard again we have a pack of dogs a pack of wolves and a sloth of bears trip of goats Troop of monkeys. You must have heard about this. 
Now you see a few common ones you must already you must already know. You just won't have known कि इन्हें हम collective nouns कहते हैं. वरना जैसे a pack of wolves, a pack of dogs ये सब you must have heard in, the, in some of the movies or you must have must have read somewhere, right? Now next another one we have four things. like uh, a pile of money a deck of cards a bunch of keys and a fleet of ships fleet of vehicles chest of drawers pair of shoes library of books roll of film set of tools एल्बम ऑफ फोटोग्राफ यू मस्ट ऑलरेडी नो दैट फोटोग्राफ्स का जो ग्रुप है वी कॉल दैट एन एल्बम ऑल राइट सो मोस्ट ऑफ दैम आर वेरी कॉमन एंड यू मस्ट ऑलरेडी नो यू वुड हैव नोन आई थिंक नेक्स्ट ओके सो नाउ वी आर डन विद दी एब्सट्रैक्ट नाउन्स वी हैव डन फोर कैटेगरीज ऑफ नाउन्स प्रॉपर नाउन्स कॉमन नाउन्स and abstract nouns and collective nouns now we are moving towards our fifth category of nouns okay this is pretty simple hey you see now there are two different words one is a cup and the other is a cake both of them are absolutely two different things but if we combine those two words we can form another completely new word which is a cupcake right similarly here butter a completely different word fly a different word but when we form them together we again form a new word which is what butterfly butterfly has no connection with butter or flights an absolutely new word which is a butterfly similarly here sun plus flower makes a sunflower and book and shelf makes a book shelf so these kind of words they are called compound nouns so what are compound nouns when there are two words which are formed to make an absolutely new and different word word that is the compound noun we have a few more examples like pop plus corn makes popcorn foot and ball makes a football rain and bow makes a rainbow moon and light makes a moonlight all right these are also what these are also compound nouns so here we have the meaning of compound nouns what they actually uh, what is the definition we can say compound nouns when two or more words that create another noun create a noun one word joined together there are two words which are creating one word together and that word is a noun so you understand what compound nouns are two or more words that are creating another noun by joining the both of them all right let's move now here are again i have given a few examples for you to understand better i'll just quickly read them shoe box and butterfly and star and fish starfish ear and ring earring hair and brush hair brush hand and bag makes a hand bag wheel and chair two different words make an absolutely new wheel chair straw is different berries are different together they make strawberries now the next one another few of for you to go through pan and cake makes a pancake rain and bow bow is the is kind of an accessory rain and bow makes a rainbow grass alag hota hai and hopper alag hota hai but both of them when combined together make grass hopper similarly for jelly beans and similarly for bath tub 
now you have uh, done all the five category of nouns five category of nouns we have understood what nouns are we have done the five categories we will quickly revise them now all right so now we are revising our this this is a very important slide this is basically a summary of what all we have done in nouns in all the previous slides okay so pay attention this is like a summary this is like a synopsis for you okay now first of all yes so first of all we have done five types of nouns first is the common nouns second is the proper nouns third is the abstract nouns fourth is the collective nouns and fifth the compound nouns all right so now you see we started off with our very first picture the scene or scenery of the park wherein we wherein we explained about various uh, common things that we could we could see the general things we were talking about for example books and for example fruits but similarly when we compared them with proper nouns and when we talked about specific things specific places specific names specific persons mm -hmm. so that becomes a proper noun okay we discussed about examples for example a uh, dog is a common noun but for a proper noun suppose your dog's name is bruno so bruno is a proper noun and dog is a common noun similarly if we take kolkata now if we say city city is a common noun because it is a general thing it is a common thing city can be any city but kolkata kolkata is a specific city so that becomes a proper noun next we talked about abstract nouns abstract nouns we when we refer to we talked about uh, we talked about things that don't have any physical existence they are an idea any state or quality for example peace here and we discussed uh, terms like brotherhood friendship love hate all these things are abstract nouns all right then we moved on to collective nouns collective nouns refer to group any group when we are referring to it becomes a collective noun group of people animals or things we discussed so many collective nouns and has we given example of group of people we discussed uh, collective nouns like tribe of uh, monkey etc and uh, here when we talk about compound nouns um uh, for uh, sorry the example like for monkeys we can either say tribe we can also say troop we can also say a cart load of monkeys right then we move on to the compound nouns now for the compound nouns we learn that they are made up of two words and they form a completely new new word altogether for example suit and case they are two different independent words but we can combine them and form a new word which is suitcase all right uh we discussed other examples also like pan plus cake pancake right so these are the five broad categories of nouns common nouns proper nouns abstract nouns collective nouns and compound nouns i hope you have understood them by now so now let's move on now it's time for a quiz we will uh do the sample questions of ieo and understand each question and try to find their answers this will be like a practice for you this will be like a mock exam for you 
Now the rules here are, uh, you already know them. Every question will be, you will be given one minute. For every correct answer, you can award yourself 10 points. And for every incorrect answer, no points. Why no points? Because IEO has no negative marking. So you have to be, so um, here you have an advantage that there is no negative marking. So in every question, you must answer, which means you should attempt all the questions. Okay, you should not leave any of the question, any of the questions, because uh, there is a chance that even if you think that this option is, is slightly correct, you are not sure, but you can say maybe C option is correct and maybe D option is correct. So you can at least mark one of them. And uh, maybe there are chances that you are correct. After all, there will be no negative marking. All right. And correct answer. You have to award yourself points anyway. And every question, uh, I'll be giving you 60 seconds. However, for those who can answer the question quickly, and suppose you answer in the first 30 seconds, so you can fast forward the video and move it forward and go directly to the answer. You don't have to waste your time in the complete uh, in uh, the complete uh, th for the for the complete 30 seconds. And uh, I have given one minute because for the IEO paper you have 35 questions and you get about 60 minutes to answer. So you get around uh, you know around a minute for each question uh, in fact you get more than a minute for each question so i have on the safe side i have given a minute for those for those students who even take more than a minute to answer if you take more than one minute it's okay you can uh, pause the video first answer it yourself and then check the answer because uh, because it is important that you understand the question and you answer it yourself. Uh, by uh, When you will keep on practicing these questions, then eventually your time will come down from say 2 minutes to 1.5 minute to 1 minute eventually. So just uh, the most important part here is not the time, but answering the question. Okay. So be careful and answer the question. Time you will manage once you are able once you practice these questions enough. All right, now let's start. So the question is, the A part here is, choose the kind of noun for the underlined words, which means you are given a sentence. Here there are certain underlined words. You have to read the sentence, analyze the underlined words, and then choose which type of noun this is. So for this, first of all, you have to know the various types of nouns. Okay, the various types you have to understand their differences, their meanings. So this should be on your tips. What are common nouns? What are proper nouns? What are collective nouns? And what are abstract nouns? So here it is, it says Sita went to the garden and studied a flock of birds. Now here what we are talking about. We are talking about a group of birds, right? And groups we can 
we remember that this is a collective noun when we are talking about any collection when we are talking about any group that becomes a collective noun okay So here the sentence says Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Here the underlined word is light bulb. Okay. Now suppose if here I'm going to give you three scenarios. We will revise three nouns here. Okay. First of all, light bulb. Now light bulb is a common noun. Why is it a common noun? because it is talking about a general thing light bulbs are general they are not proper we are not talking about any specific light bulb we are not talking about any group of light bulbs and we are not talking about any feelings or emotions something that has no physical existence light bulb has a certain physical existence so it becomes a common noun now here if light bulb i am going to give you two scenarios First of all, if light bulb was a single word, so then this would have become a, which kind of noun? It would have become a compound noun because two words would have formed another one. Now, instead of light bulb, if the underlined word would have been Thomas Edison, then this would have been a proper noun. Why? Because we're talking about a specific person. Thomas Edison. There's only one Thomas Edison. So we're talking very much talking about a very specific person. So that's how you understand and that's how you revise all the three. Okay. Next. So here you see here the question is Bebel was Emperor Akbar's favorite minister. The underlined word is Bebel. Birbal is who? Birbal is a person and he is very much a specific person. And which are the specific nouns? Proper nouns. So the answer is proper noun A. Similarly, if Emperor Akbar was the underlined, uh, underlined word here, underlined phrase here, that would also have been a proper noun. Because we are talking about we're talking about a specific person. However, if the underlined word would have been minister, then the answer would have been common noun. Because minister can be anyone, right? There can be a number of ministers. So, it would have been a common noun. And similarly, if there would have been a group of ministers, it would have been a collective noun. Now next, so here again the question is, Mr. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was the first president of India. Now the underlined word is president. President is refers to a common thing, common person which has a physical existence. So this one becomes a common noun. Alright, but now lesson what more is if dr rajendra prasad would have been the underlined 
if uh, the rajendra uh, if uh, dr rajendra prasad would have been the underlined word here then he is a specific person then this would have been a proper noun okay and if the underlined word would have been india again a proper noun because we are talking about a specific we are talking about a specific place and uh, that is india specific person is dr rajendra prasad but the question says what the question is asking about the president only so you have to answer b the other ones i just gave for your reference now next so here you see the question is the soldier was awarded for his bravery here we have a new one bravery bravery what bravery is something that has no physical existence you cannot touch bravery you cannot feel bravery you cannot sense bravery you cannot smell it right so this is what what kind of nouns are these these are abstract nouns okay different set of questions here we say choose the correct animal corresponding to its group now hame collective noun diya hai this is what this is a collective noun collective noun ki formation mein humne padha tha na ki collective noun plus of plus jo noun hai us noun uh, so the school of what here it is a school of fish All right. Now, next. so here again the we we have given the collective noun plus of and then we have a blank here we have to fill in the correct animal so a troop of if you remember we studied it is a troop of monkeys jaise mere ghar ke paas there are lot of monkeys which come around sometimes in afternoon sometimes in morning they come in through the back door of the kitchen they eat stuff so we say a troop of monkeys troop of monkeys came in the afternoon a troop of monkeys were wandering in the afternoon we don't say group we can say group but a group of monkeys is called a troop only so we use the collective noun troop all right 
Now here, the collective noun given is pod. Pod of what? Pod of dolphins. Alright. Now next. So here the question is a litter of dash. We are given the collective noun plus of and a blank wherein we have to fill the noun. So here the answer is a litter of pups. Pups are puppies. Suppose when a dog gives birth we can say uh, you know a litter of puppies are born. A litter of pups are born. Okay. Now next. Here is a swarm of dash. Now this is an easy one. A swarm of bees. Okay, this one was very easy. Now let's move on. So your time starts.
is we are moving on to the next section c section this one says choose the correct abstract noun from the given options to complete the sentence so let's quickly revise what were abstract nouns abstract nouns were the ones which have no physical existence we cannot touch them we cannot see them we cannot um, smell them and we cannot taste them all right so these are abstract nouns now we are given a sentence and we given a blank so we have to we have to fill in the correct abstract noun here all right so the sentence says the sages of ancient times were full <coughs> i'm sorry the sages of ancient times were full of dash now the options given are a honestly b bravery c wisdom and d war now um if you see if you see um clearly aap thoda dhyan se dekhenge to if you see the first one a honestly is not a is not even a noun you see warm warm is not even a noun warm is an adjective okay and honestly is an adverb so technically we just left with b and c options but we know that sages of ancient times they were full of wisdom because when we talk about when we talk about the ancient times we talk about the vedas and we talk about the the important literary books and we talk about the various philosophies so they were full of wisdom okay now next question now here you see the question says to his dash rama jumped into the river now this is an easy question why do i say it is easy let me tell you the options are amazement cruelty weakness bravely first of all bravely is an adverb so it is out of the question then amazement cruelty and weakness now you see you imagine yourself uh suppose one of your friend jumps directly into the river how will you feel you will feel amazed so the answer is to his amazement to his amazement rama jumped into the river so for questions like these what you have to do is you just have to read them and you just have to choose the one which makes sense to you all right it's not that difficult it's very easy in fact let's move on
the here the question says dash is next to godliness um here if you see there's this proverb which says cleanliness is next to godliness this proverb basically talks about the importance of you know keeping everything clean and tidy and uh, maintaining your hygiene so cleanliness is next to godliness now next question here the question is my father's dash is always right now you see judgmental is an adjective all right and here the answer is supposed to be a my father's judgment is always right and uh, see in now this basically means whatever my father makes law what whatever logics that my father makes whatever judgment he makes about certain people or certain things he is always right so the answer here becomes my father's judgment is always right so now let's move on next question <laughs> Okay. Now the girl smiled, remembering her dash memories. Now you see, um, the girl smiled, remembering remembering her mem uh, dash memories. So if you relate it, uh, when you think about your much younger days, of course you are young right now as well. But uh, for example, when your parents think about their their uh, memories of their childhood then they smile and talk about their and you and then they share anecdotes with you so we can say the girl smiled remembering her childhood memories now these questions become very easy if you relate them to yourself and they become very easily answerable you don't have to put much technical knowledge and and much of logic into it it just comes naturally to you okay bahut aasani se aane lag jayega
here you see here we have the next question the d part which says choose a correct option to make a compound noun now compound noun ki revision kar le hum compound noun is what there is one word then there is another word which makes a new word all right so these are two different words and when they are joined together they form another new word okay these were compound nouns now what we have to do in these questions is we are given certain words now here the first word this first word is given okay this first word is given to you you have to figure out and for the second word you are given four options and out of the four options you have to these four options are given to you and out of these four options you have to choose the one that makes the most sense so as to form a logical compound noun matlab ki aapko pehla word to diya hua hai and for the second word aapko options diye hain and out of these options aapko jo choose karna hai so that when it is put together with the given word wo ek naya word banaye and that naya word makes sense and it forms a compound noun for example uh let's start with this one now the word given here is the word is bank now for bank this is this one is fairly easy we know we have heard the term bank account so there is nothing like bank pocket and there is nothing like a bank code there are no codes as such for banks there is no bank circuit we have bank accounts in fact okay this one is easy now next now you see here the first word is given first word is what green and we are given options for the second word the options are office house school and bank so what you do you try to say them together and say green office green house green school green bank but which one makes sense to you the one that makes sense is greenhouse greenhouse is what greenhouse is general uh, is a uh, basically a box kind of you know there's this box kind of house we can say it is a certain transparent or some different material walls and there are there are various there yes we there are various plants inside here and these plants they require regulated climatic conditions so these plants are grown in the greenhouse so it forms the compound noun which is greenhouse now let's move on
so the next word here is polar now polar refers polar is the first word we are given we have to find the second word to form a compound noun polar bear polar dare polar dog polar bee now has any one of you ever heard about a polar dare have you heard about a polar dog have you heard about a polar bee no there are only polar bears right the white ones the cute ones there's only polar bear so the correct answer is a bear so here the word given is real and for the second word we are given various options estate city sorry state city and country now if you must have seen certain boards which say real estate dealings real estate property now real estate is basically a business of properties commercial residential wherein properties these houses and houses and flats and certain lands they are rented and sold and dealings are done that is real estate so the answer is a now here the first word which is given is rush now it's uh, this one is also fairly easy rush is used with the word r rush r for example we use it generally for uh, traffic when uh, suppose like here in generally the time of uh, you know of the office timings ending are 5 o'clock so we say you know that 5 to 6 becomes a rush hour 5 to 6 so we say 5:30 to 6:30 that is a rush hour because there are a lot of cars on the on the road so it's a rush hour there's a lot of traffic okay so the answer is a rush hour okay so now we move on to the hot questions what are hot questions hot questions are the ones which carry more marks they will be a little bit difficult a little bit uh, on the higher here the achievers sections uh, this is the achiever section and they carry i think two marks per question for you while the regular ones are only for one mark so they are for two marks per question okay let's start <laughs>
So here you have to choose the correct option to complete each sentence. Now if we read the question, we can figure out that uh, we have here, we have to find, here we are given the compound noun, which is, uh, you know, which is fleet, then off, and here we have to find the noun and fill it in. So here the answer is a fleet of ships. Okay, now a group of ships is basically called a fleet. This one was one of the hot questions. Now the question here is we have to fill the blank. The room was filled with his dash. Now the options are laughed, B smiled, laughter and D both A and C. Now if you see laughed and smiled, both of them are verbs in the past tense. And the only noun here is C. So this one becomes very easy. And uh, first of all, you can figure it out in this way. And second of all, if you read the sentence, the room was filled with his laughter. We don't say the room was filled with his laughed or anything else. Laughter is the noun. Laugh is the verb. And laughed is uh, the verb conjugated in the, uh, in the past tense, laughed. And the noun here is laughter. All right. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have understood the concept of nouns, the various types of nouns jo humne samjhe hain and I hope you will apply them in your real life and aapko ab identify karne mein ki kaun sa common noun hai, kaun sa proper noun hai. In sab cheezo mein aapko koi bhi problem ab nahi hogi. So I will see you the next time. Now thank you.